Very shortly, I will talk about uh, the uh, third topic, which is also uh, very uh, crucial. It's more about uh, large-scale representative annotated data sets. So this I mentioned also before. Basically, in EO, we have a different situation than computer vision. Uh, in general, we have uh, uh, less uh, annotations and for but this is, however, super important, right? If we talk about uh, deep learning algorithms, of course, we are talking about uh, tailored uh, architecture design, loss functions, and also the, it involves uh, algorithms for training and initialization. But very important is the training data. And since we now have already so many uh, backbones available there, um, I would say, um, a big part of innovation in AI for you all now really comes from the data. So in this period, we also uh, produced uh, a lot of uh, benchmark data sets uh, for uh, land use, land cover, for event recognition from videos, for multi-sync classification, for uh, change detection, or for, um, um, let's say, food security. And for this, if you are interested to have some data to start with, you can easily get access via the link which is provided. But what is more helpful probably for the readers of, of, uh, of, uh, the, the, of this course, um, we have uh, developed a platform called EarthNuts, which is a sophisticated platform help people to get access to AI for EO. So what it contains, so basically, it has uh, um, accommodated more than 500 uh, uh, annotated data sets, which is all we can find in the community till today. And also, we have provided uh, more than 50 uh, really state-of-the-art uh, um, deep learning methods and with uh, more than 10 um, specialized library to support uh, various EU tasks. And for each of the data sets, we also provide attributes, help people to uh, uh, search for the appropriate um, data sets uh, to start with. And uh, uh, with this said, I would say it has something to offer for all a range of the potential users. Let it be an application, um, people who want to uh, get familiar with the tool or being someone rather from the method side want to develop a, a new uh, benchmark or a new models. And here basically give you an overview of these 500 um, data sets. Basically you can see starting from 2008 till this year, you see a, a increase in number of annotated data sets. And if you, the bubble size is also the size of the annotated data sets, it's also becoming bigger and bigger. So in overall, you see the whole EO community has been improving a lot when it comes to the labeled data sets. But still, if you compare uh, the annotated data, which is the dash line with the right y-axis, so you will see that uh, today we are having about uh, uh, less than 0.1 petabytes of the data with annotation. However, if you look at a uh, selected open um, EO and the climate data, then today we are reaching 100 petabytes. So this means within all this data, there is uh, only approximate 0.1% which has labels. Still, you see that there is a huge gap between the annotations and the unlabeled data we have. Um, to conclude uh, the introduction part, I would uh, spend uh, a couple of slides to introduce ML for Earth, which is the project uh, uh, who is funding this MOOC course in order to build up uh, the community uh, in Germany, but also internationally on AI for you all. And this is a project which is funded by the uh, Federal Ministry uh, for Economics and the Climate Action uh, via the management of the a, a project uh, management of uh, the German Air Space Agency. 
And the uh, uh, project is called uh, National Excellence Center Machine Learning for Earth Observation, MF Earth. It has a very strong research component where we try to work on fundamental challenges in machine learning with uh, applications uh, related to digital twin Earth. I will not talk too much about this, but uh, on top of that, uh, we have the mission to build up the community by offering benchmark data sets to the community, like I have already introduced, but also offering courses uh, and workshops uh, to the community. And also we have uh, uh, built up a communication channel for everyone who is interested in um, AI for EO, ML for Earth. By just scanning this uh, uh, QR code, you will uh, land with a uh, uh, communication channel which already have more than 300 uh, um, people uh, who are mostly actually experts uh, in the field. And there it's a, a kind of a platform um, to basically make this kind of exchange and the discussion possible to every newcomer to the topic. And uh, to conclude uh, um, my part of the lecture, I rather would like to give uh, uh, three um, statements. So firstly, um, different uh, or other than uh, robotics, biomedicine, uh, Earth observation is actually an uh, important field of applied AI. And also with the uh, example, motivating example I showed today, uh, I hope you will see that actually big EO data and AI for EO as a combination that offer invaluable geo-information, which can really uh, help tracking the challenge of today, like urbanization. However, Towards AI for EO for large scale and actionable geo information retrieval, we still have fundamental challenges ahead of us. For example, uncertainty, for example, physics uh, consistency, explainability, and the transferability. For these, we really need then the joint effort uh, from the whole community. Yeah, with this, I conclude uh, my part of the course and. Uh, um, I, I wish you enjoy the rest of the MOOC course, which will dive into individual topics uh, in AI for you. Thank you.